is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. It is main event time. Saturday night, September the 10th, 2022. The Ball Arena, Denver, Colorado. Judgment Day. And the WWE Championship is on the line. The Rated R Superstar Edge won the gold back at SummerSlam on June 26. Unfortunately, his 12th reign with the title expired on August the 7th where Austin Theory pinned that man's shoulders to the canvas and walked away with the championship. Tonight for Edge, it is about securing number 13, a Hall of Fame career for the Rated R Superstar, but he's not done just yet. Austin Theory may have walked away at Extreme Rules with the WWE Championship, but the question lies, can he defeat Edge one-on-one? -on -one? Tonight isn't a five-man elimination challenge like it was back at Extreme Rules. Tonight, Edge is coming in 100%, rested and recuperated, and ready to possibly walk away with the WWE Championship yet again. But for Austin Theory, it's about defending his throne, defending his right, in his mind, as the self-proclaimed future in the now of WWE. Tonight is put up or shut up for all day Austin Theory. Successfully defend the gold or walk away trying. And there he is, the young, brash, arrogant WWE Champion of the World, all day, Austin Theory. The man who has defeated Randy Orton, the man who has defeated Riddle, the man who has defeated John Cena in his first championship defense back on the roll after Extreme Rules. Austin Theory has been on the ride of a lifetime the last several months as the WWE Champion, especially ever since he won the gold at August the 7th at Extreme Rules. But tonight, as we mentioned, is put up or shut up for Austin Theory. No five-man elimination challenge, no tag team matches, no other opponent but the Rated R Superstar Edge. And you remember back to this past week on Raw, Theory and Randy Orton defeating Mustafa Ali and Edge. We got a little preview of Theory versus Edge again on that night, but what is gonna happen when the two men go one-on-one? -on -one? The WWE Championship is on the line. In the main event of Judgment Day, let's send things down to the ring for your official introductions. Introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 249 pounds, the Rated R Superstar, Edge! And introducing the champion from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Austin Theory! Tonight truly is Austin Theory's Judgment Day. Is he as good as he says he is? Is he a deserving WWE Champion? Or was Extreme Rules just a fluke, lucky night for all day Austin Theory? And is Edge about to claim his 13th World Championship in the WWE? We are going to find out by the end of this pay-per-view event. Thank you for joining us thus far tonight. It is main event time. The bell has sounded. Edge versus Theory, one-on-one. -on -one. And this should be a very interesting contest. Again, these men have interacted several times in the ring over the last number of months. They've been in tag team matches together. Money in the Bank ladder match, you remember back that, on May the 2nd, which is where Edge's journey back into the WWE Championship picture really began. And of course, most recently, as we mentioned this past week on Raw, where we saw a preview of Edge vs. Theory again. Randy Orton and Austin Theory walked away with the victory this past week on Raw, so I'm sure Edge is looking about a measure of revenge for taking a loss as well. And you gotta think, we're talking about Randy Orton earlier tonight, Randy Orton defeating Mustafa Ali, becoming the number one contender for the WWE Championship. So whoever wins this matchup already has their first challenger set. Randy Orton's got history with both of these men, especially Edge. Of course, recent history with Austin Theory, the men faced a couple of months ago on Monday Night Raw. Where Theory defeated Randy Orton. And those two men forced to team up this past week on Raw. And Edge and Randy Orton, their story history over the years, former tag team partners turned bitter enemies. 
What would it be like if those two men went meant one more time for the WWE Championship? All will tell in due time, but tonight is about who is going to leave Judgment Day as the WWE Champion. Will it be the Rated R Superstar? Will it be the All Day Young Man Austin Theory? Theory right now is beating the hell out of Edge. Gotta wonder if there's gonna be a feeling out process between these two men, considering this is the first time they've ever faced one on one. Strategy is different in a tag team match, strategy is different in a Money in the Bank ladder match, strategy is different in a five man elimination challenge. When it's one on one and there's nothing else to focus on but your opponent, you gotta come in with a different set of goggles. Right now, Austin Theory is in firm control of this WWE Championship match since the opening bell. And again with that shooting star press, and Theory go for the first cover of the match, trying to steal the win over Edge. And Edge has got a lot of fight left in him. We saw Edge have one of the best matches of the year back at SummerSlam against AJ Styles, where he captured his 12th WWE Championship. And of course, remember back to the night before Extreme Rules, the return of Saturday night's main event. Edge went one-on-one -on -one with John Cena in another match of the year candidate where Edge came up short. Cena actually handed Edge his first singles loss since his return to the WWE back prior before Money in the Bank. And you gotta wonder if Edge may have been not 100% going into Extreme Rules just 24 hours later and if that was part of the case as to why he wasn't able to defeat Austin Theory and retain the WWE Championship on top of the fact that both men were competing in the midst of a five-man elimination matchup. But regardless, all of that is in the past, and it's put up or shut up. It is Judgment Day right now for either Edge or Austin Theory. And Edge trying to mount some offense for the WWE Champion. Like him, we're not going to give him some credit. Able to cut off the Rated R Superstar before he could really get going in our main event affair. And Theory again. Theory's working on that arm a lot of Edge throughout this contest. Edge has had a little bit of a history of a tricep injuries over the years, so... Austin Theory could be looking to pick apart some of those prior injuries to the Rated R Superstar. I'm trying to weaken his challenger here tonight. Maybe the best move for Austin Theory to try to pick a bone, pick a body part, and focus on it to try to keep Edge down. But right now, the Rated R Superstar coming out swinging spear in the corner. Now just choking down the WWE Champion. And again, Theory able to count around. You see him going to the arms again, you know. Theory could be targeting both arms, excuse me, for the Rated R Superstar to try to avoid Edge hitting the spear throughout this contest. Edge could try to go for the spear, but if his arms are hurt, his arms are injured, he certainly ain't gonna hit the full contact. That could be the strategy of Austin Theory in this matchup. Only, tell, only time will tell. But right now, Edge, I think smelling that Austin Theory's got a plan and trying to make sure he stops him dead in his tracks. Nice chop, Edge. Trying to build some offense back into this matchup. And I'm going to send the WWE Champion over the top rope. Oh, where's that? Where's Edge going? Look at this. Sunset flip to the outside. Driving Austin Theory down to the floor below. And Edge admiring his work here tonight, Saturday night, September the 10th. Our main event of Judgment Day for the WWE Championship. What a hell of a night it has been thus far. Ricochet retaining the Cruiserweight Championship, Oscar retaining the Women's Championship. We have new World Tag Team Champions in Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic, a new Intercontinental Champion in Tommaso Ciampa. What about that matchup between AJ Styles and Bobby Lashley earlier on? Lashley and AJ tearing down the house, the Almighty walking away with the victory. It's all led to our main event right here, right now. The moment we've all been waiting for, for the most prestigious prize in the business, the WWE Championship. They're able to avoid contact from the Rated R Superstar. Edge getting back into the ring, but Theory taking advantage. Send Edge to the corner. A nice clothesline. Wait a minute, Austin Theory! Blockbuster! Austin Theory putting together one of the moves that help him defeat Edge at Extreme Rules, but Edge gets the shoulder up. Theory able to pull out a big time maneuver somewhat early in this contest. Wait a minute, Theory could be looking for that eight town down. I went for the super kick to the knee. Edge able to dodge it. And Edge knows the series of maneuvers that Austin Theory used against the Rated R Superstar that allowed Austin Theory to walk away with the WWE Championship back at Extreme Rules. Sure, Edge has studied those con that contest as well as all the other contests that he has been involved in with Austin Theory. 
Again, as we mentioned earlier, strategy is going to change in a one-on-one -on -one match compared to anything else, but any prior knowledge of your opponent will help you in due time. Austin Theory stomping on the previously injured neck of Edge. And that is not going to do good. And Theory's strategy throughout this contest has clearly been targeting former injuries of the Hall of Famer Edge. Oh, a nice counter by Edge with the Instaguri. Edge has got to strike while he can. Theory is clearly trying to work on prior injuries. Use the history against the Rated R Superstar. Edge tonight has got to figure out how to outrun the younger. Possibly in better condition competitor. And listen, for Edge, he's in amazing condition. That is the reason he is still fighting in the main event at this stage in his career. The reason he was the WWE Champion. But how does he measure up against a 25-year-old kid who's not even in the prime of his career yet? Edge going for that elevated DDT. Theory able to counter. The theory with the drop toe hold. And also, Theory better focus on the rated R superstar instead of, instead of taking a second to soak it in here in Denver. Edge is down. Theories go to the top rope. Well, Edge is back up momentarily. Look at this. Fall away for Austin Theory. And Edge is heading to the middle rope. Edge is eyeing up the WWE Champion from the middle rope, going for that mid-rope spear, but Theory able to dodge it. And Edge is really struggling to mount some offense in this contest. Oh, wait a minute, Theory's got that ankle lock in. Edge has previously, in his career, had an Achilles tear in that ankle. And Theory again continuing that strategy throughout this contest. Could be looking to tap out Edge here. Oh, and Edge trying to break out, trying to break the grip of Austin Theory, but there it is again. Plain and simple, Austin Theory is targeting prior injuries of the Rated R Superstar. The tricep, the neck, the Achilles tear. Austin Theory wants to use the age difference and use the fact that Edge has obviously got some miles on him. And try to use that against the Rated R Superstar tonight. Edge oh, misses for the elbow drop. Edge is really struggling to mount some offense these last number of minutes. This has been... Majority, Austin Theory all the way. And Edge getting the knees up, able to avoid that splash for the WWE Champion. Theory went up high, something we don't see him do too often, and it paid the price. Now Theory being put on the top rope. It looks like Edge is looking to go high risk, high reward. The Rated R Superstar swinging neck breaker for the top rope. And Edge into the cover of the WWE Champion. Will that be all? And no theory sur survives. And the crowd in Denver is loving this main event. They've been loving the action all night long. And Edge and Theory are giving them another show before their very eyes. Edge heading back up to the middle rope here. He just hit that elbow drop. Could be looking for that middle rope spear. He missed earlier. This time he connects. And Edge into the cover. And Theory able to get the shoulder up. And Edge loves to use that middle rope spear. It doesn't hit the same impact as his normal finishing maneuver spear that Edge has made famous over the years. But that different angle still, a lot of the times, enough to knock the wind out of his opponents and sometimes gets close for Edge to be able to put his opponents away. Or at the very least, definitely doing damage to that midsection area. So when Edge does hit the spear, if he can throughout this contest, it lands just that much more impact. Right now, Austin Theory I think feels a sense of urgency after Edge was starting to mount some offense there. And Theory picking up the Rated R Superstar. And just slamming the larger competitor down to the canvas. Theory grabbing a hold. The number one contender throwing him into the corner. Oh no. Austin Theory could be looking for blockbuster number two in this matchup. Edge is in trouble. Edge is in deep, deep trouble right now. Blockbuster for the second time in this match. Theory with the kick. Oh no. Edge eats the canvas. And that is going to do it. No way Edge is getting up from that. And Edge at 2.9 getting the shoulder off the canvas. A series of maneuvers that Austin Theory used to win the WWE Championship. Not enough tonight so far. Edge smells blood in the water. 
super kicked Austin Theory, but again, Theory cutting Edge off. And that has been Edge's biggest problem throughout this contest. He just can't mount significant offense against the number one, or excuse me, against the WWE champion. The fight rolling to the outside here in Denver, and Edge is going to try to use his surroundings to his advantage at the moment. Take it, Austin Theory, off his feet. Going to hit that match harder as Theory lands on the floor below. But that flatliner. Maybe a knockout blow to Austin Theory. Edge has got to smell blood in the water right now. And unfortunately, I think he may be smelling his own blood after Austin Theory threw some of his best strikes at the Reddit R Superstar. It wasn't enough just yet, but if Theory hits another big time maneuver like that, he could be leaving Denver, still the WWE Champion. Theory cutting off Edge. Edge with the reversal there, able to take Theory off his feet. It's now or never for the Rated R Superstar. And Theory again able to counter the WWE Champion. Oh no! Edge just getting tossed to the outside of the ring. Crash and burn landing. And the WWE Champion's on the top rope. And Theory with the missile drop kick, but it just knocked the soul of Edge into the other state. At Edge, we know how tough this man is. We know how many big match situations the Rated R Superstar has been in throughout his career. Doing everything he can to survive in this contest, all for the chance to walk away with the WWE Championship of the World. And Edge taking Theory down again. Edge with another shot. This match for Edge cannot end on a count out or he will not be leaving with the WWE Championship. But Edge looking to take advantage while the brawl is on the outside of the ring and inflicts some punishment on the current reigning WWE Champion. Here he's down. Wait a minute. Edge is headed to the top rope now. Could be looking to give Austin Theory a taste of his own medicine for the top with the missile drop kick by Edge. Theory hit the drop kick moments ago. This time it's the Hall of Famer throwing caution in the wind. And the Rated R Superstar is feeling himself here at Judgment Day. Three. Theory is dazed. Edge has got to capitalize. Why the iron's hot? He can't win the championship via count out. I think Edge knows that Theory is going to make his way back into the ring. Edge is using this time to recuperate for himself. Probably a smart decision from the number one contender. Six. Theory back into the ring. Edge is right there to try to capitalize. Driving Theory down to the floor. That situation on the outside of the ring may have been what Edge needed to get back into this contest, but there's Austin Theory again, trying to cut Edge off. Edge has got to avoid a possible blockbuster by Austin Theory again. Wait a minute, this time Theory, discus, rolling forearm, but Edge shoots up, tries running at Theory, but Theory cuts him off at the knee. And the WWE Champion going to the cover, not watching his ring awareness. And that is one of the things about Austin Theory. He may be the WWE Champion. He may be in the main event now. But he still has not been in as many big match situations as Edge. The naive necessities of Austin Theory. Oh no, and Theory, again, trying to go for that ankle lock. He hit this move earlier. A move we don't see Austin Theory do too often, but you know he is focusing on prior injuries of the Rated R Superstar throughout this contest. Edge is struggling right now. Edge trying to once again break the hold. Going after the knee of Austin Theory. And Edge, you see he's struggling to walk on that Achilles. He's trying to unload and he hits that super kick again. Trying to shake off the punishment throughout this contest. Edge whipping Theory into the corner. Back up goes Theory. And the Rated R Superstar again is heading up to the middle rope, but he could be looking for that swinging neck, neck breaker for a second time throughout this contest, and he does. And back into the cover goes the Rated R Superstar. And Austin Theory again survives in this contest. You hear the crowd in Denver. This is awesome as it's been all night long here at Judgment Day. Edge with the kick. Theory may be starting to feel the punishment of the Rated R Superstar. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Edge is in the corner. 
Fury, dazed and confused, a spear by the Red and Superstar. Edge is a 13 time WWE Champion. What a main event. Edge fighting through the pain, fighting through the punishment, fighting through Austin Theory, targeting years worth of prior injuries to Edge. Through grit and determination and for the love of the fight and the will to become WWE Champion. The Rated R Superstar for the 13th time in his career has done it again has reached the top of the mountain, the pinnacle of the business, and is leaving Denver, Colorado, a 13-time champion. And the new WWE champion, the Rated R Superstar, Edge. What a night it has been at the Ball Arena in Denver, Colorado. Saturday night, September the 10th, 2022, marks the day of this historic event and marks the day of the beginning of the 13th reign for the Rated R Superstar. Edge is leaving the new WWE Champion. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a ride.